Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 20 card review. Today I'm going over my first prospect card of MLB The Show 20, Forrest Whitley from the Houston Astros starting pitcher. Uh, you can obtain this card through hitting mid-tier in the set one prospect packs or you can buy him off the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 25,000 stubs. So I was highly impressed with this card. Uh, I think <clears throat> he fits a niche that not a lot of pitchers fit right now, um, and he's especially good at higher levels, but can also be very effective at lower levels as well. I just think all around, this is an amazing card. Uh, starting off, my boy Wave is whip ripping packs. That's like his third diamond in the last three minutes. <laughs> um, I hate you. I'm just kidding. Um, I think this card's overall is lower than it probably should be. Uh, because his fielding stats are so low, so I don't know if they do that on purpose, but his actual pitching stats are higher than an 87 overall, if that makes sense. Um, so obviously if the ball gets hit to him, uh, very niche situation, but uh, gonna have a tough time with the throw meter, but regardless, the point of me telling you that his fielding stats are low is that this card probably plays above his overall as a pitcher. Uh, the one knock against this card 82 stamina is really low. All these prospect pitchers, pitchers have uh, low stamina, which is going to hurt you. Uh, 82 stamina is good for about 82 pitches. As a general rule, one stamina for one pitch uh, until you end up in the red energy. Um, but let's talk about this guy's stuff. Enough rambling. Um, 61 walks per nine is kind of offset by the fact that he has a really simple delivery. I found it incredibly easy to pitch with analog pitching using this card. Uh, just a very fluid, very simple motion. I found this card incredibly easy to control, even in some of the clips I talk about how I feel like I can put the ball wherever I want, uh, and that was generally true. As far as his stuff, he does have 92 break, but it's kind of deceiving. Uh, most of the break is on this huge looping slider that he throws, and his curveball also has a lot of break as well. The changeup sinker and cutter do not have very much break. Uh, I think the changeup is probably this card's worst pitch, to be honest. But uh, the sinker and cutter not having much break isn't a huge deal because uh, he can gas the sinker up to 97 miles an hour, and that's why I think he fits a niche that not a lot of pitchers fit right now. Uh, even Kluber can only get his sinker up to 95, 96, I believe. So a 97 mile an hour sinker is incredibly effective, especially if you're on high difficulties especially if you're throwing it high in the zone, which you definitely should be throwing a lot of high sinkers with this card. Uh, his sinker comes in as straight gas. It is really fast, uh, especially on Hall of Famer Legend. Uh, as far as the cutter, it's pretty much a four-seam fastball. <laughs> That's how much it doesn't break. Uh, I would not suggest using it against lefties at all, and I would use it sparingly versus righties. It really just has almost no movement whatsoever. So the way you're gonna wanna pitch with this card Sinker, slider, change up, curveball. Mostly sinker, mostly slider. The occasional change up and curveball. But overall, uh, the fact that his sinker doesn't break much isn't a big deal because he throws it so hard. His slider is an amazing pitch with an insane amount of break. And he's just got an amazing repertoire. Decent per nines. Uh, great velocity overall. Just in love with this card. I think 25k for a pitcher like this is a steal. So, as always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta, and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta, I'll give him an A-. minus. I think this card is borderline top 5 pitcher in the game right now. Uh, definitely worth considering putting in your rotation, regardless of who you have in there right now. Um, and for the price, I'll give him an A. Like I just said, 25k for what I believe to be a high-end pitcher at this point in the year. Uh, definitely worth a shot at least so I hope you guys enjoyed this card review a lot of you were asking for this one so I'm glad I could provide it for y'all drop a comment if you want me to review anyone specific I do try to formulate my team around who you guys want to see card reviews of uh, enjoy these clips I mean Dyson some people up with Forrest Whitley and I'll see you guys next time peace do I recommend Kopech I haven't used him yet but or faced him honestly but he looks nasty <laughs> Swingman's your boy. We've only played once in that tournament, right? I appreciate the biddies again, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. The sinker doesn't have a lot of break. It's kind of concerning.
It worked though. Ellipsis! 97 miles an hour. Maybe it doesn't need brake chat. Another 100 for the mercy. Oh, you're talking about Swing Man, I think. Yeah, he didn't even play bad that game. I just got bailed out on literally everything. Like I am right now. Sometimes you just have these games, chat. And you need to get the mercy rule in because the tables will turn eventually. Rizzo! Uh, if you're not going for top 50, then probably not, Instincts. Uh, the only thing it's going to do, like, it'll make you a better player for sure. Uh, and you'll get more experience. But if you're not, like, interested in being a top player in the long run, then no. Once you get the World Series reward, there's really no point. When's the next card review? Uh, and in, in 56 minutes. Already recorded and posted and scheduled to upload at midnight Eastern. Tatis ain't making this play though. Oh! Do that bad of a year last year? Or did they just juice other guys way more so it looks like he sucks? I did use two hit wit. He was not very good for me, to be honest with you. A lot of good swings for outs and no exit velo. Ellipsis! I think he's only given up two runs, but he's only pitched like five innings, so I don't know. Who did I pick with the pennant pack? I don't really think it matters. They're all like 2,500 stubs right now. But I took Sutton, just, I don't know. I probably picked the first one because I didn't care. Watch my bid and grind at him? Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for doing that, bro. Oh, Merrifield? Sorry. I'm pitching with Forrest Whitley, so I thought you meant that. Best way to go about it. For me, that's probably going to be Posey. That was a disgusting at bat, dude. I put everything where I wanted it. <laughs> Chuck Nasty. Gold Glover. Fucking hilarious. Ellipsis! 